Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Torchlight Infinite on a Windows computer. So this is going to teach you how to install Steam, how to set up Torchlight Infinite on Steam, how to log in and how to get it working on a Windows computer. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and download and install Steam. So if you don't have Steam already, this is simply a storefront where you can go ahead and buy and install games. So on the top right hand side of the screen here, we're going to click install Steam and we're going to click this button here, which is going to download the Windows installer for Steam. So once that's done, what you're going to do is to click on the bottom left hand side here and click on steamsetup.exe and this is going to launch the Steam setup application. So what we're going to do now is press next. We're going to select our language. We're going to select where the actual Steam application is going to live. And now Steam is installing. So once Steam is installed, so when I press finish, this is going to run Steam. So once this is installed, we're going to be met with the Steam login screen here. So if you already have a Steam account, what you can do is just type in your username and password. However, if you've never used Steam before, you can go ahead and create a new account here. Just fill in your email address details and follow the instructions in order to create this account. And once you've created the account, what you need to do is to press the login button and we're going to log in now. So once Steam's installed, the first thing I'm going to do is to go to the search page here and we'll do a search for Torchlight Infinite and click on this listing here. And then we're going to scroll down and press play game. And then we're going to install it into its default location. Press next. And now the Torchlight files are downloading. You can click on downloading here and can wait until this download completes. This is downloading 9.8 gigabytes. So just wait for that to complete before we move on to the next step. So now that Torchlight Infinite has finished downloading, I'm gonna press the play button or you can go to library and then find Torchlight here. You can click on the entry in the library and then press play. So here it's doing the first time setup, installing the VC distributable, that's a dependency. And now the game has launched. So here we're gonna accept the end user licensing agreement policy, press accept. And here it's saying that it needs to do an update for 35 megabytes, just press confirm and that started a download process. So now the game is loaded up, we need to select a login method. So you can do this through your Apple login, your Google login, or your Tap login. Either way, we're gonna accept the end user license agreement and then I'm gonna select my Google login. So now that I've logged in through the web browser, I'm gonna go ahead and click to start and then we're gonna select a login server. You wanna make sure to select the server with the lowest ping, so the lowest number of MS, so the green one here. If you're in America, you wanna select America or Asia in Asia. So here I'm gonna select Europe and press confirm. So now the game's loaded up, I'm gonna select a class, press next, next again. Give my guy a name, press start. Now the game's loading up. So I'm gonna skip this intro. And now our game has loaded up. So this is Torchlight Infinite running on PC on Windows computer. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.